Field citizens call for stop to virus risk from factory farms. More than one month after the initial outbreak of the swine flu was recorded, confirmed cases are topping more than 15,500, with 55 countries affected and over 110 fatalities and counting. Venezuela, Paraguay, Estonia and Hungary most recently confirmed that the illness has entered their countries. In light of this grievous trend, AVAS, an international online citizens advocacy group, delivered a petition with 225,000 signatures to the World Health Organization, or WHO, calling for protection from the threat of a future pandemic that could likewise stem from a factory farm virus. AVAS campaign director Rick Patel stated, There have been warnings for years that these dirty warehouses crammed with pigs are increasing the risk of development and transmission of disease epidemics. The WHO and United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, or FAO, must regulate food production to save the global population from future animal-borne lethal pandemics and ensure global health security. Such dirty warehouse conditions of one pig factory farm recently prompted Mike King, New Zealand comedian and former pork industry spokesperson, to completely change his stance. Almost overnight, he stirred countless co-citizens, as well as the New Zealand Minister of Agriculture, to take a serious look at the atrocious suffering of pigs raised for food. Supreme Master Television spoke with Hans Kreik, Campaign Director for Save Animals from Exploitation, or SAFE, in New Zealand about these recent events. Do you think that Mr King will continue his mission to uh, help factory farm animals around New Zealand? Oh yeah, we absolutely know that he will help us because he's completely dedicated to this cause now. He wants to see these practices banned and he's going to be there right till the end. What has the response been? Um, that SAFE has seen from the people of New Zealand over the last couple of weeks? It has been incredible. I've been working in this field for well over 20 years and I've never seen anything like it. It's, um, I think the public is almost shocked by what they have seen and it's been incredible. And the interesting things that we're seeing now is not that people just saying like, oh this is bad. People are actually doing something about it now. So we have we, we have seen hundreds of people writing letters to the government saying, what are you going to do about this? We have seen people making statements that, you know, their whole family will no longer eat any, any pig products. When asked to share his thoughts about the link between factory farm products and human disease, Mr. Creek points out that animal products are a source of life-threatening health conditions. Well, I think the eating of those products causes the, the, the problem for sure. Um, it was well known that uh, diet high in saturated fat is is, uh, is is very harmful to our well-being. And where does saturated fat come from, by and large? It's animal products. So so clearly, there's no doubt about it that uh, if people were to adopt a vegetarian diet, that they would be a lot healthier for it. lost. It was absolutely harrowing. They were chewing the bars. These pigs were chewing the bars. Our humble thanks, Mr. King, Campaign Director Crike, Save Animals from Exploitation, and Avaz, for your efforts to bring forth a safer world for everyone. Our prayers go to the many victims of the swine flu with our sincere condolences to the families of those who have succumbed to this illness. Let us combine our efforts now for the awakening of society and choosing the healthy freedom of the vegan diet to benefit ourselves and those we love.